CNN. Today is February 18th, 2011. Today is a hawk day, which means start periods 2, 4, and 6. If you want to do this, you have to call and reserve your spot. I totally want to do it. I mean, we're talking about free cake and frosting, and you get to eat what you create. Attend the Cupcake Decorating Workshop at 7 p.m. on Tuesday, February 22nd. The Canvas Public Library is thinking about us crafty teens in 7th and 8th grade. The event combines eating with decorating. The price? Yes, we said it before, and we're not joking. It's free. Free cupcakes, people. Now that's a sweet deal. Call 834 4692 and get your name on the list. We have a couple of guests today who are here to talk about the Skyrim Variety Show. Hey man, did you hear about the Skyrim Variety Show today? Oh yeah, like the one at like 12:45, like. Yeah, it's gonna be all this entertainment, like singing and dancing and comedy strips. It's gonna be so tight. Oh, some kid is playing with the piano. It's gonna be so cool. I know, and another guy's doing baby by Justin Bieber. Yeah, and like leadership, get there at like 12:20 to set up. Okay. All right, and. This is not a spirit assembly. So no, no screaming. screaming. All right, what should we do in the meantime? We should have like a party before the party. Okay, bye kids. Bye. Okay, thanks you two. Don't forget that Monday is a day off. Titled Washington's Birthday, a federal holiday honoring George Washington was originally implemented by an act of Congress in 1880 for government offices in the District of Columbia and expanded in 1885 to include all federal offices. I didn't realize it has been around that long. As the first federal holiday to honor an American citizen, the holiday was celebrated on Washington's actual birthday, February 22nd. On January 1st, 1971, the federal holiday was shifted to the third Monday in February by the Uniform Monday Holiday Act. This date places it between February 15th and 21st, which makes the name Washington's birthday a misnomer, since it, never, since it actually never lands on Washington's actual birthday, February 22nd. The first attempt to create a President's Day occurred in 1951, when the President's Day National Committee... There was a whole lot of committee to decide this... That committee felt that because of its proximity to Lincoln and Washington's birthdays, the holidays, you know, it would be difficult to take both days off. So one day was selected to remember and celebrate the birthdays of both the first and the 16th presidents. Just remember that there isn't school on Monday thanks to the birthdays of our presidents. But the mid but in, by the mid 1980s with a push from advertisers, the term President's Day began its publish public appearance. You know, like the big sales and stuff? Okay, I think they get it. Although Lincoln's birthday is actually on February 12th, and it was never a federal holiday, approximately a dozen state governments have officially renamed their Washington's birthday observances as President's Day, Washington and Lincoln Day, or other such designations. However, President's Day is not all, is an all-inclusive term. Mo it's mostly about Washington and Lincoln. Wow, you really read up on this. In Massachusetts, the state officially celebrates Washington's birthday on the same day as the federal holiday. Okay. State law also directs the governor to issue an annual President's Day proclamation on May 29th honoring the presidents with Massachusetts roots like John Adams, John Quincy Adams, Calvin Coolidge, and John F. Kennedy. Do they get the day off? I don't know. I'll have to do some more research. It was said George Washington, his life of him in praise of honor, uprightness, and patriotism. And President George Theodore Roosevelt said of Abraham Lincoln, he was the true representative of his people, not only for his own generation, but for all time, because he was a man among men. That's it for the news today. Today and every day. Follow the Sky Code. Be safe. Be respectful. And be responsible. Have a great day and enjoy the variety show, Skyridge. This has been Carter. And Alexis. At this time, please stand for the pledge. Ready? Begin.